Alrighty. Beanie has graced us with his lovely gray presence today. Um, let's see here. I feel super unorganized, even though I do have some some colors pulled out. Like, don't don't let the nail polish fool you. I uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is going to work, and if this doesn't work, I'm not a hundred percent sure. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm going to do. Um, but hoping for the best chat is working that's a good thing let's uh get a tweet sent out and a discord <clears throat> and uh, then we'll get going so normal normal type of stuff on what will hopefully become a normal type of day i don't know if it will always be evening streams but i would like to turn wednesday into my other normal nail art day because I mean <laughs> you know I don't want to have it too close to Saturday um because usually two time two times a week is enough I used to do my nails a lot more often but with everything else that comes with a manicure two times a week is enough unless it's just like a little a little plain manicure for a couple days <clears throat> um what am I calling this uh, <laughs> call them attempts like it's a speed run or a, like a, like a video game where it might die but might be the nail polish equivalent of of fail <laughs> um let's see where's discord here over here Hey, Dido. <laughs> um, hello. Like, oh my god. I don't know why I read that in a valley girl voice. Thank you for joining me. <clears throat> uh, let's get this Discord message sent. To everyone. Alright, Discord is taken care of. Hey Karen. You like the colors? Good. <laughs> Hi Sunbert. <clears throat> I, I I really hope this will go go well. Sun with the Twitch Prime resub for six months. Thank you so much. Oh, always good to start off a stream like that. <clears throat> As you can probably tell, I'm still meh on the health front, but uh, I'm looking forward to this nail art. If it, if it goes well, if it doesn't, forget I said that. Hi, Fuzzy. Hi, LJ. <coughs> I think I said hi, Karen, but if I didn't, hi, Karen. Um, we do have exclamation point inspo once again today and I forget who posted in discord I like literally just looked earlier today and I already forgot maybe it was amethyst um a, a Facebook compilation that happened to have this in it and I went and tracked it down on Instagram to get the uh, the actual standalone picture and video a big ass chocolate bar so you got, I'm the nail art and you got chocolate. You got, you got a good night here, Dino. Hey, Sapphire. Uh, so if you guys want to see uh, the direction that we're going with these colors. Like I like, I liked the, the technique. I thought the color choice was a little bit weird. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> I forget, but like the, the pink and blue in place of the gray and yellow and then like a purple accent i mean i'm hoping that it is going to behave like it behaves in this video because it may be something that you know the the particular formulas of the polish really plays a huge part in amethyst hello are you the are you the one that shared that facebook video 
<clears throat> I think it was you. <laughs> Some Chaco hollow in the Manny for you. There, there is a hollow out. There is a hollow on the field. Uh, Finley. Of course, I mean you can't really tell on camera, but it's 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 the way it's kind of hollow. You know, you know how they do their hollows. <clears throat> Karen's got the chocolate hollow. Yes. So we're, we're going to attempt that flower petal smooshy. I don't know how this is going to go. thought we might go real light. And, and so I had requested in, in discord, I was like, what, what should I do? You guys, <laughs> you're probably thinking I, nobody asked for this. The, the triggers for this were, um, Something that could be kind of Valentine'sy, but kind of not Valentine'sy, and uh, a Valentine smooshy. And instead of just going for like, oh, let's just grab some pinks and do a smooshy. I thought I would try this effect. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know. I'm hoping I've got like three. I started with just I still had the pinks from the gradient out, so I got a light blue to go with the light pink. What is on this? Ew. We'll, we'll just look at this other side that's clean. Um, a medium blue to go with the medium pink. And kind of like a, a darker shimmery blue to go with the darker shimmery pink. And then I was like, okay, now I want also a purple to go with these. And then I just started pulling like all kinds of purple. Like so many purples. What was that? Just, just settling nail polish. <laughs> So, two of these, or two of these, or two of these with a purple. Which purple will it be? That's the question. <clears throat> hey, Beflor. Let me just get my cell phone plugged in there. And actually, I think I probably can lose this because the sleeves are going to get on my nerves. Coffee Love by Layla. I Layla makes some really nice hollows. I have maybe half a dozen Layla hollows that I picked up when Ulta was carrying them. I don't think I'm not man, when's the last time I was in an Ulta? I'm I'm not sure if Ulta carries Layla on a regular basis because I apparently never go to Ulta anymore. <laughs> if I need something, I'll just order it online. Mmm. <clears throat> So, yeah, I think we'll start out with, like, some swatches, just some quick swatches, and see, because the swatching also gives me an idea of, of, like, the formula. I think I want three that have a fairly similar consistency for this. I'm not sure if I need to stick with creams. Jackie, with the Twitch Prime 8-month resub. Apparently, it's our subversary. It it may possibly not be, but it also might be. So Twitch made this change, where now if you uh like miss a month in your subscription train, that you still get credited for the month. So sometimes, so you'll see different, like slightly different wording sometimes. Like oh, they've subscribed this many months and have this many months of a streak, <clears throat> and because of that they've allowed people to re-announce their subs so that they can like show like the streak part of it um so it may be a re-announce or maybe actually the actual anniversary i don't know but in any either all cases <coughs> thank you especially for putting up with i'm i've been sick for like a month you guys and it's so bogus and it's so like mild like, sometimes I even feel dumb complaining about it, but I'm just, like, I'm so over it. I'm so, like, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to not be sick. But I do feel somewhat better-ish. <clears throat> Purple rain. I, I did a purple rain manicure one time. Really, really super nice gray purple gradient. 
and purple raindrops <clears throat> that uh, of course showed up blue on camera because purple. All right, amethyst. <clears throat> The whole top pro, which is the top for you guys, the purple. Yeah, we're we're gonna swatch these out. Let's see, we should put the purples in some kind of order, all right? Like lightest to darkest. There's a lot of shimmery ones too. Maybe I should put all the creams together, and then all the shimmers. Like that. Oh, where do you go? Like right here. That. Luke, <laughs> you guys, it's like a resub train. <clears throat> also with the eight months. Thank you, Luke. Hello. How are you? We are, we are, we have, and, and this isn't like even half my Zoya purples, you guys. Some I rejected out of hand as being too glittery. Oh no, where's your label? Your label fell off. Who are you? Juno, do I have nail glue here? We've got a we've got a nail label emergency, y'all. Well, it's not really an emergency, but I don't like I hate it when when labels come off cuz it it can be difficult as we discovered with the uh, the juleps to track down the proper name. <clears throat> so, like regular nail glue. I don't know if this is actually like the best solution but it's what I usually use because I usually have some handy and then just like hold it in place for a minute and they'll be out for a while so it'll be able to finish drying before I put it back in the drawer no I mean you know usually son I would agree with you that it's not a, too glittery is not a thing <clears throat> you've been good butt twice tonight um I just think for the for the technique which for anybody just joining us, we've got exclamation imp inspo, short for inspiration. How is, how is inspo short for inspiration? Where does the O come from? Can anybody tell me? Um, I, I'm not even sure if these shimmery or purples may be too much for this technique. It may be wanting creams to work pro properly. Um... <laughs> I like it, Dino. We'll go with that. If it's if it's not true, we've just created an urban legend. Okay, let's make room for our notebook here. And then, man, that's a lot of purple. I mean, purple is the best, of course. <clears throat> what is today? The sixth. I feel like we should be farther into the month. For some reason. I feel like it's almost Water Marble March. And I still have like all of February almost. Alright. Let's zoom. So you guys can see. Hopefully. I mean a lot of these dark ones you guys know. The webcam is not going to fucking cooperate with. <clears throat> Quick, somebody can can you is uh is urbandictionary.com like Wikipedia and that anybody can just edit it? Wait, maybe it's on urbandictionary.com. Somebody go look. Um, like I said, these pinks are from the uh the gradient we did. Um <clears throat> they were out and they were kind of perfectly Valentine's pink. And I just felt like they were a good, like when, when I have an idea that's so open, like, I mean, this flower would be bomb in blues. This flower would maybe wouldn't even look like a flower, but would look like some kind of tropical thing. If you did it in greens, like red and orange and yellow would probably, there's so many different color combinations that you could go to. I needed like a starting point and the Valentine's ish starting point. God, I feel like I've got more light reflection in my face than I usually do when the window actually also has light coming through but that's that's a sidetrack 
Um, so the pinks were just kind of like my starting point so that I wasn't just sitting here like ideas just like so many. Um, anyway, the lightest pink is Jordan. <clears throat> A straight week of green manis leading up to St. Patty's. Um, the problem with St. Patrick's Day is that it's right in the middle of Water Marble March. <laughs> Rural legends are better than urban legend, but not as fast as John legend. Are we water marbling? No. I thought about it because I kind of do want to revisit trying to do the, like, turn those swirls into hearts, but I, I don't know. I'm not quite in the mood. Plus, water marble march is coming. It's like, I, I kind of, I don't know if I want to save water marbling until then, but we are going to be doing, like, a shit ton of water marbling. I want to do a lot of designs this year. I don't want to burn out like I did for 12 days of Christmas. That that was nearly burnout. I think that probably played a huge part in why I've been sick for so long because I just was not getting very much sleep. Um, Where was I going with this? I still need more sleep, apparently. Um, But yeah, I, I want to have a really content-packed water marble march. <clears throat> like at, at least two water marbles a week like Saturday and Wednesday will both be water marbles and possibly like fit in a third water marble per week somewhere <clears throat> yeah it's a very like not quite delicate but very like pink it's a very pink pink that's not like a pink is not a descriptive of itself but I don't know if that makes sense. Hey, KJD. <clears throat> Clover, man, I've done so many water marble clovers, but it's such a fun design, too. Rainbow Clover. I wonder if you'd be able to fit all the colors to actual show. I mean, like, my nails are still pretty short right now. I've been trying to keep them a little bit short to try and keep them from breaking. But, I mean, I'm going to try to grow them out a little bit for Water Marble March. Because, um, I mean, for Water Marble, it's not that you can't Water Marble on short nails. It's just that, I mean, it's there's more on long nails. <clears throat> yeah, this Smooshy Jackie is, is one that I saw, well, I initially saw on Facebook and I found on Instagram. It gives kind of a flower petal effect. What's all rainbows? Like unicorn poop? <laughs> Hollow. <laughs> this is also true. This is also true. Okay, so that nice light pink, I would probably pair with blue. Messy bottle. It's been through some things. And they're both just like, they're very light, but still like colorful, if that makes sense. They're not like super, super pale pastels. They're light blue and light pink, not like, oh my God, is that white of either color? <clears throat> I, I mean, I know, but I thought maybe that was like, you know, the juke, like, oh, but you expect that to always be the answer. <laughs> but it's not. You know, um, this is sweet. This, this medium pink. I really, that, that, uh, that hearts reciprocal gradient actually kind of grew on me, you guys. I was, I was not super thrilled with it right when we first finished up. Yes, Jackie. I, I, I found the standalone tutorial on Instagram. If anybody wants to see it exclamation inspo uh or just there's there's a link to the video and a link to the just the picture um did i say dory so they're obviously like a, ta a tad darker i feel like not as i don't know i, I kind of am leaning more toward using the lighter colors for the flower but darker colors might be might be cool too. 
Maybe a, the lighter ones with the darker purple or the darker ones with the lighter purple. I don't know. The purple is... There's, there's so many... We're, there's going to be some testing going on here. I hope I don't keep you guys up too late or myself. Uh, Katie is the darkest pink. And in the bottle, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It really doesn't much once you paint it out. <coughs> like... I, I can very, very vaguely see it. When I when I was wearing it as part of the uh, gradient, I really didn't notice it at all. Oh, this is uh, Saint, which is another one that, if I recall, looks shimmery in the bottle and not so much once you paint it on. Yeah. A little bit, little bit more watery than some of these other colors, too. So, okay, so those would pair, you know together although you know these two wouldn't look bad together either or like these or like these two Pro probably like i have them though okay let's do the let's do the purples real quick wait a minute more subs well i mean another sub dr crotron coming in with the twitch prime sub in the eight months at least like eight months Thank you, Doc. Hi. How you doing? Are you home? I know you had to travel early. I don't know if you also had to stay longer than normal. I hope your travels are going smoothly. Yes, Sapphire. Like this technique, I, I remember when, when I went searching for it, I saw that I actually had already liked the uh the still picture of it but i must it must not have you know shown up because instagram is so stupid with the way they show shit uh the tutorial never showed up in my feed and so when i saw it i was like ah and i was like i'm positive it's not as easy as it looks like absolutely positive <laughs> mm. this one is a uh, saint if you're counting one, two, three. If you're counting one, two, three, it's blue. Still on the road. Aw. Aw. Well, we're swatching Dr. Crotron. Dr. Crotron knows about swatching, you guys. He makes swatches for his Gundams and his... Uh, is, is there another word for stuff that's like a Gundam, Dr. Crotron, but it's not a Gundam? Like the, like the gypsy, like an encompassing name? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh, get comfy, Bean. Mm. The first blue light and the second pink medium. Yeah, I could see that. tired of everything is he still sick amethyst all right malia i i don't know if i have a a purple zoya lighter than malia if i wanted to do like a really light purple with the with the darker pink and blue but the more i look the more i think i want to go with lighter pink and blue like a more like a more delicate flower um serenity so many purples oh that one's much like less plummy i want to say mechs all right just 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 you know a giant mech lydia lydia's dark lydia looks dark looks uh black on camera probably will too on the swatch Kinda you can see, like when I stroke it thinly, more of the purple, a little bit. Oh, so dark. It's a very nice, that that actually is quite a contender. Cause like I said, I'm not positive how shimmer polish will react for this technique. Pinta, also super, super dark, probably even darker 
and a little bit more like on the indigo side. Yeah, with that one there, you can see that it's not black, but it's hard to tell that it's purple. Can I like... Yeah, they're all super dark. Okay, so that was the creams. Four creams. Now we have shimmers. You love you some Gundam. Yeah, Dr. Crotron has quite the collection. I mean, to me, I'm sure there are people you're like, man, no, there's people that are like way crazier, but I mean, you have a good size collection, Dr. Crotron, I think. Oh, yeah, you don't want them to get dehydrated. That sucks. <laughs> the paw of disgust. Oh, no. That's so stressful, I'm sure. You got your employees hooked on Gunpla? <laughs> Bot spots always inappropriate. Well, mostly. More, sometimes more inappropriate than others. Yeah, Luke, did you see the inspo, Luke? Um, what is this? Did I say? This is Harmony. Shimmery. Um... I mean, I'm hoping if I lay it out like she did with the darkest color first that I can get it to kind of do the petal outline like hers did. I I don't know. We're, we're just going to go for it. Yeah, I was in the Zoya drawer. Because it's the closest drawer. <laughs> oh. Also, apparently I have the most Zoya than anything else, so apparently it is my favorite brand. Um, Belinda. Is this really, this seems like it should be darker. Did I get these out of order? I was going to put these in. Well, I guess they're all just really dark other than that one. So it doesn't matter too much. Oh, I like that. I, I like, I like this. I like this. I like these also, but I really like this one and this one. As notes to self, what we need to play with first. Yeah, I hope we'll, we'll see. We'll see in a minute. I got to finish watching so that we can start seeing Juno. Oh, you're kind of watery, Juno. Not, not as dark as your bottle led me to believe either. Hmm. Uh, hope. Never thought you'd be on a first name basis with nail polish. It's, uh, you can blame Twitch. It's all Twitch's fault. I never thought I'd be introducing people on a first name basis with nail polish. I don't like that one. I don't like the formula. I don't think it would blend very well. Uh, Yasmine. Zoya makes okay hollows. I would love for Zoya to give their their give a give a try at actual like linear hollows. All almost all their hollows that I can think of are scattered. Um Yeah, I can't think of one that's like, you know, a true linear hollow. This is Giada. <laughs> it's kind of like the color choices are weird i think they they go in that weird like why does this go together kind of way i don't dislike it but i also don't want it on my nails 
See, like, this is a hollow. The The ring light's washing out the hollow, so you can tell it's not that hollow. Basically, everything that looks like a little silver sparkle on camera is actually a little hollow sparkle. It's a gorgeous color. I also, I also quite like that one, and it would add a little bit of shimmer to the whole to the whole look. This one was okay. I think we're we're okay. I don't want to get these too much out of order, but I do want to make some room. Oops, sorry guys, because we're working we're working directly on the mat today. Um. So, okay, and we'll do this. So, can I set this by you, Benny? Do you mind? Did I? I did. God, what? What one did I even put my finger in? Okay. Um, I think a piece of cotton would actually be great right about here. We're, we're working directly on the mat today because, um, as we learned before, it dries a lot quicker. These should be fairly thin to cows. I don't intend to, like, let them dry overnight. I'm hoping I can get them to just dry while I'm working on the other ones and just do them, like, now. So, get this all nice and clean. Um, I thought about practicing on the lids and then I decided that that would be counterproductive because it would give me an inaccurate sense of their drawing time on the mat. So we're going in directly on the mat. <clears throat> OPI and China glaze get very corny. Sometimes, I don't know. I like names that also do like make sense to what color the polish is though. And just like people names, like sometimes it makes it harder to remember the names. Melvin. <laughs> mm. Discontinued because it's so gross. Oh no. Beanie doesn't need a helmer. Beanie has a whole box full of toys. Um, I think I want to use my Moe stamper. Hello. That was very stubborn to come off. Um, oops, you are stuck. Yeah, probably should start a new. Oh, is this like the last sheet of stuff on my... Are you going to be difficult here? I mean, I have another uh, lint roller in my supply drawer. If this doesn't fucking want to... I mean, well, I'll, I'll use this for the testing because I don't want to just like waste a whole fucking strip of it. I'm going to have to get a new one. Oh, you know what I should do? Hold on. Um. Ta-da, now it won't unravel itself anymore. And we can just still use it. And when we get to the actual manicure, I'll get one of the new ones out. All right. bedtime routine I'm sure there is somewhere Dr. Crotron <laughs> like table or shoe <laughs> mm. this is true you can insert polish into beanie in certain cases like right about here there's room for oh probably a dozen polishes yeah, just hide them in that tummy fur. 
<laughs> Hi, Bane. Hi, handsome. Oh, so sleepy. Yawn. <clears throat> Of gray. <laughs> okay, um, where did I? Oh, right here, duck lot. I want to try this one first, and then I want to try that one second. So, where are we here? You guys can see like this, you can see this too. If I do this, you can see up here. Let's go, like, let's go here. I want to start as far away from myself as possible so that I'm not like, you know, working over stuff that I've already done. So, in the video, she just makes three drops of polish and uh, then she like smooshes it a couple times. Right? super easy simple I'm sure I'm sure it'll be completely simple don't get colors inside your other colors oh look at that you see that I, I need to zoom in so y'all can see that that's we need more we need larger drops that's uh dang it come on camera that's what we're going for though okay where oh right here we we got this y'all can i get a little bit more <clears throat> Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, you guys. I working this far up the mat is not <coughs> is not normal for me. I'm usually like way down here. But like I said, I, I'm we may end up doing a lot of testing. <coughs> okay, so considerably larger drops of polish. And then you like smoosh it and then you like move. That one was like slightly less. Oh wait. Like that. Where can I? Yeah. It's. It's weird. I'm getting the feel for it, but like I can't even explain what the feel is. Your server just sent you an email? Like your email server or like your server at the, at a restaurant? What do you, what do you, and why is it sad face? <laughs> Ninja. What's up, Valor? Yes. I, that's another thing on my list of to try uh i watched it like a a thing on and this is like when i grab for these i'm like right in the camera aren't I? i'm sorry you guys it's a little bit unavoidable um and how they do those book marbling things and it gave me ideas for water marbling that i still like have not tried This is the other purple. Part of the, okay. I need the pink when I apply it to overlap the purple rather than the purple overlapping the pink. Do you know what I mean? Let's try that again.
kind of like that more. I should have used more purple, more pink that time. Ooh, ooh, look at that. I still feel like I'm like flailing, but that's pretty. I should have, how, when did I, when did I start doing this, you guys? Where's my other pair of tweezers? Oh, right here. <clears throat> <laughs> Bob butt. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. But it's like if you don't, like the the pressure of your smooshes matter too. Because one one time I did it, and it was like I moved down too quickly. I don't know. I should watch the video again. One of your drives is dead now. <gasps> oh, Doctor Croton, that's sad. Like, this first one, oh, this first one is just about dry. It's super thin, you guys. Like... I mean, it's dry, but it's so thin. Does it need to be drier? It needs to be thicker and drier. Or could I possibly, like, how sticky are you? Can you, like, maybe pick it up from here? No, that would be too great, wouldn't it? Huh. I mean, it doesn't look in the video like she has, like, any extra clear base or anything. Are some of these other ones a little bit thicker? You're still not fully dry. I don't think. I can still put fingerprints in you. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I need to get the, the drops, like, more consistent. <laughs> hey, let me watch the video again. Where did I put it? Here. Oh, and if you would like to watch the video with me, it is exclamation point inspo. I'm I'm pleased with the progress that I've made. Yeah, that's the Is there a way like I want to no not like that. I want to like fucking rewind this Instagram video. I guess I could do that and it restarts it. I do still have the feathers. Those are, those are a freaking, those are a freaking another story. <laughs> those were a pain in the butt to work with. That's what else I was supposed to be looking at. Does she have? I don't think she has any, any clear down. Is she just waiting until it's drier? Like how dry are you? It's hard to tell. I can see the mat is bubbling a little bit, which means it is drying. Maybe too if I like use a slightly lighter hand when I'm smooshing. Ah.
Whoa. Not sure if you guys can tell how like paper thin this is. I was too gonna try like the stamper application where you like stretch it out all nice and smooth on the stamper and then you stamper it onto your nails. So you get it like smooth. Oh, I'm not on camera because I'm zoomed in too much. You get it like smooth on the stamper and then you like apply it on your nail. Like bloop. I'm gonna bloop this into the uh do I not oh here it is. The sketchbook actually. To keep to have Maybe some of the other ones too, if I can get them to peel properly. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure which of these purples I like better as far as their performance. Like I don't know if I can quite judge my my their performance or based on my skill. Is it really five years, Doc? The, the only one I've ever had that won't fucking come on again is older than that. So I've never had to. I was like, yeah, I guess this thing is 15 years old. I'm not surprised it doesn't work anymore. Mm. Mischief face. You looking for shit to get into, mister? I hope not. All right, so we've got it. Oh, come on, camera. It's in the sketchbook, trust me. There, see it? Right there. <laughs> um, Get off of there. Okay, let's go right about here. Let's try with the shimmer one again. I wonder if I should try my, uh, well, let's just try like this first. Like slightly fatter drops. That just didn't do much. You gotta get like a good initial vein or the subsequent, like when you start moving the stamper, you don't get much. I mean, that's not horrible, but it's not. <laughs> no, he's a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you, baby? Yeah, I'm a good boy. A grandfather clock? What does that even mean? Smooshy jellyfish. I, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of doing what I want to do, but I don't know what I need to do to make it more what I want. Oops, that's not where I wanted you. Well, what the hell? That one had too much purple. Should I try some of the other colors, you guys, or should I keep going with this? Like, I like this combination, but I do also wonder if maybe it's partly, like, maybe it is partly the formulas, too. Let's try with the slightly darker pink. Come on, light blue. 
There we go. More. Ooh. Ooh. I think that could have been something if I'd done slightly shallower movements. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I use Beanie as a pillow. Is, is this in your space? Here, should I put it up here? <laughs> Good boy. He probably is just about to start his hour-long request for dinner. That's all. Uh, all right. All three dots need to be like really good size. Number one. Like more like more like two drops or three than like one. Unless you really can get a fat drop of polish on your Huh? I would, I would like some consist. I suppose once I start just like doing it in one particular way, it'll start looking a little bit more consistent. Let, let me watch the video again. Like the thing, it, it reminds me of like Carnation too, kind of. The thing is, like her finished manicure is so consistent. I feel like I'm getting some cool effects, but I don't feel like any of these looks like any other one. You know? You knew what I'm saying? So... I think I'm liking the results a little bit more. Or is it just my technique? Let me try again with the lighter pink. Sorry, I keep hitting you. I, I keep hitting you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Maybe I actually need like slightly less purple than the pink and the blue. Okay. Not quite that much less, but less is giving a little bit more of that kind of a look thing going happen on happening there. Yeah, it's it's a pressure thing. It's where where exactly you're rolling to thing. It's like, oh, there's like so many. There's so many little things happening here. Let's try this again.
Slightly too much purple. I, I really like that one, though. Cut some of the glare for you guys. I think that might be my favorite one yet. So con controlling your controlling your smoosh, controlling your color ratios. Wait a minute. <laughs> Motivational interviewing? What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Like one big fat drop of purple, two drops of pink, two drops of blue. Gentle smooshing, movement. Pulling down a little bit of side to side. That one's a little bit weird. Not only a little bit weird, but if you get like too into the smooshing and smoosh too much, then you get into a situation where you're going to end up with a very thin decal. I, I want to see how some of these other earlier ones peel. Like this one feels mostly dry. Like the better parts of the design are on the thinner parts of the decal. Maybe I need one of those long flat tweezers like she has so I can get like a long flat grip on the decal. I wonder how much difference that actually makes. Oh. Ah, I'm trying to show y'all. It's so thin. It's so thin. Okay, let's put it in a sketchbook. Have some kind of record of the hard work we did tonight. And how many how many was that ago? So we did those and then we did and then we did one, two, three, four, five. So if I do ten give or take decals, then the first one should be ready to peel up by the time I finish the tenth one. And like in the notebook, <laughs> wait a minute. I it, I mean that's exactly what people say about me and water marble. So like I get it. Like I'm sure it's practice, and I can tell just from this little small. I I put some yellow stopper here from this little small experiment, that the. Uh, the polishes make a huge, huge difference. I'm I'm liking how this is going though. This can be a manicure. I would I would like a little bit more consistency. Like to be honest. So are any of these other ones I want to save? Not really. easiest way to get these off of here and and like the the using a little bit of extra polish and a very light touch is also going to help with the with the peeling can i just yes but not really easily oops you can't even see what i'm doing i'm trying to clean up some of these ones it's like can i just like run the lint roller over them but it's not really having it like the the thinness and trying to peel them when they're so thin is going to be a challenge 
I mean, some, some of them seem better than others. And what if I start on the thicker edge? Would that be better? Oh, see, it starts to rip. It starts to rip, and then you might not get all the parts of the design that you want. And then it's gone into this, like, weird... This is not dry, though, actually. That's part of the problem, too. This is really sticky. Role-playing? Dr. Crotron, please know on behalf of anybody who's, who's going to be put through that. Fancy, so spicy and greasy. Mmm. Hey, yo. Wait, what makes nice cuticle cream? Salt salami? <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think... Maybe, maybe from the side would be a good idea for peeling. Like, get a good edge started on the side and just... Oh, they just want to tear. I'll have to see how these better ones do once they're dry. Can I... Yeah, you've got a little bit of life left in you, cotton ball. Whoa. Let's spill acetone everywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. I'm not saving those particularly for any reason other than I want to see how they peel. Do I... Let's see how a clear base would do. Let's make a couple spots. This is wet and wild clear. Thing you can do with this is like make sure the edges are like nice ish. I'll make like two or three little spots and let them dry. Oh, super fascinating nail art, you guys. The intricacies of the clear on white. <clears throat> Luke, that seems so creepy. Super, super creepy idea, Luke. Congratulations. <laughs> ah. Ah, creepy. Okay. <clears throat> um, Let's try this other purple one more time again. I still haven't quite decided between them. I'm kind of leaning toward the slightly bluer, sparklier one. But this one is also... That should have been a little bugger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. Things are fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh, this one, like, won't let me forget it. I feel like the first drop was extra big. I feel like this isn't going to turn out nice. It overwhelms the pink more easily. If I use this, I might need to use actually less than of the other purple. Ooh, look at that, though. That's cool. I just need the pink not to quite do what it did there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, Re recreate the mirror. 
See who will who'll smash their head at first. Benny. Did I try this one with the darker pink? Oops. Yeah, it acts very differently to the other purple. And by very, I mean slightly. I think I like these two. With this one, I think I do definitely like the lighter pink than the darker pink. I think lighter pink is winning over darker pink. Sorry, darker pink. <laughs> Where do you buy your Nanner stickers, Doc? Is there a, like a Nanner's R Us? Maybe if I stretch them out a little bit more instead of just trying to like lay them on top of each other. Ooh. Best one? I, I like that one a lot. I still feel like I have very minimal consistency if I can claim any consistency at all though. These dry? Yeah. <clears throat> Trade secret. All right, so we'll do a couple on top of these clear spots. I'm gonna do one of each and see how they turn out. Get up there. <clears throat> All right, there's the cream purple. And this next one will be with the shimmer purple. Which the pink definitely seems to hold its own against more. Those both turned out really good. The question is, which turned out better? Where exactly is the glare coming from there? What do you guys think? Uh, cream, shimmer. I'm kind of leaning toward the shimmer. I mean, at least in that particular competition, give it a few minutes to dry, see how they come up with the addition of the clear. That may be the way to go. All right, I th I think I, I think I like the shimmer more. Hmm. Do we want to have a? pink base or a white base or a blue base I guess the purple would be too dark I think <laughs> I mean basically Okay, let's, uh, which one do I want to put 
heal up next. Maybe this one over here. This one. Let's see if we can get that one up. And that one's majority blue, so maybe I'll stick that one on a blue background just to see if I can get the edges started and get a nice peel going, please. Okay. So just a little bit of blue in the notebook. Give it a minute to get tacky. Should have painted it before I peeled it up. We can we can stick it onto the uh, stamper while we're waiting. And I think the thing that was nice about the stamper, I haven't tried this before with the cows. Usually I just try to stick them on my nail, is that you can kind of smooth them out here on the stamper and get a smoother application on your nail. Like whereas if you get a wrinkle on your nail and sometimes if it's already stuck to your nail, then you're kind of just screwed. So. Let's just, oh, you're too wet. <laughs> Not dry enough yet. Hurry up and dry, please. There we go. Almost didn't want to come off there. Whoa. Um. Let's put down a little bit of pink and then I'll peel up another one and then we'll stick it on the pink and we'll see if there's like any discernible difference. I do think I want a base color cause just in case, um, maybe this one, of course this is with the darker pink. This is with the lighter pink. I don't know if I can get this one though. This is a really thin one. Are you, you're not, I could do maybe this one. Is this one dry enough? Oh, oh, you guys, the peeling is nerve wracking. That one doesn't want to come off either. I, I lost track of what order I did them in too. Sorry. I don't know if I can get this one. It's really, really thin. I, I do kind of covet her, her weird little tweezers. They looked, see like, look at that. I'll just tears. Oh. <sighs> Butt spot stopped. Butt spot stopped the salad pyramid. Ah, oh, butt spot. I would really like to get another one of these peeled, please. What if I start from up here? Huh? We're gonna go with it. Even though it's the darker pink and it's not the one that I wanted. I mean, like, this one looks more vibrant. But it's because it was done with the darker pink. It was a darker pink one in the first place. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have picked that one. I should have waited for one of these other light pink ones to dry. I kind of think I'm going to go with the blue though, because a lot of these, the blue is kind of turning out to be the most dominant color. You guys agree? We'll, we'll just do that. That would be easy. <clears throat> Bacon goes very well with salad, like a Cobb salad. 
No avocados, though. Avocados are nasty. Sorry. Sorry. Probably another unpopular food opinion by me. <laughs> but, uh... Let's get... This is, like, so sad and crusty. <laughs> can I recycle the handle? I think I can recycle the handle. I probably can recycle this little core piece, too. How do I get this off of the handle? I'll have to look at this later. Where can I... Let's get a fresh one. I like these little ones because they're kind of like easy and convenient to just keep at my desk rather than like the actual full-sized ones although I do actually have a full-size one in there too <laughs> I, I can't get into them I don't like guac I'm just I'm not an avocado fan hello here why are you I'm exhausted you guys this is so oh <laughs> you guys don't understand how tightly this fucking label is on here oh my god or i'm weak because i've been sick for a month probably the latter <sighs> tolerate them on a rare occasion they taste like dirt to you hey mrs shredo <laughs> versatile and delicious <laughs> hmm. yeah that's why I had to mention it because usually Cobb salad has avocado on it and I'm not accent I mean like to do a catapult you, you like you know how do you accidentally do that, Dr. Crotron? Okay. Dryish? Like, I can see the mat bubbling. I know they're partly dry. They don't feel fully dry. I'm super impatient because I want to see if this clear is worth it. Where even is the edge of the clear? I've lost it. If it's worth it, I need to make it a little bit bigger because I think I overshot the edge of it. Eric Clark on the stairs. Which may mean that Beanie is about to rejoin us. Clark will not go all the way upstairs, but he tries. Um... I can't tell if it's still because it's too thin or because it's not properly dry. Look at, can I get a start at this end? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's still wet. Kinda. Why, why am I messing with this? I'm so hard-headed. Just stop. It doesn't feel like it's going to be much easier, though. I really don't know if the, uh, if the clear, if the patch of clear is at all worth it. Like if I, as opposed to just like this regular one here, if I just go at it from the side, can I pick you up from the side, kinda? Can you, you guys can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ashamed. MSLP ashamed. Music, oh my god, music girl with the tier three. Hi, hello, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, we uh, we had we have an inspo exclamation inspo from uh, god, is it nail muse? I'm such a spaz, I swear to god, I'm just blaming it on being sick, but it's probably not the only reason. Hi. Get in your chair. Get up here. Get in Beanie's chair, please. 
over here. Over here. Up. Up. What, you want to come up here? Up here? Come on in. Up. I think we might be having some bean time here, maybe. Come here, then. Come here, then. Come here, then. Come here. Those are just little headbutts. Come here. Get come, you you are allowed into my lap. Or or not. He's looking like he wants to jump on me, but he's not jumping on me. Come here. Oh. Was that on? Yeah, it was. Little headbutts of love. What do you want, buddy? It's too early for dinner. You got half an hour to dinner time. Sorry. You want to come here and get pets? I will pet you, but otherwise, I can't help you. <sighs> yeah, it's it's tricky, Musical, which I expected. It's not. I'm not gonna say, oh, it's tricky and I expected. No, I expected it to be tricky. What's tricky and I expected is goddamn peeling these things. They're so thin. Okay. That's another decent. I'm going to have to force myself to wait longer than I think I need to. Because part of it is I'm not waiting. Like they're not fully dry. So you see, you smooth it out on there. Let's stick this one in here, too. I, I don't think the clear is going to be worth it. I feel like it's adding to the drying time without adding appreciably to the peelability. <laughs> what is video? You're looking for any excuse now, Dr. Crow. Try one of what do video games have to do with it? <clears throat> On the top. I I tried these couple in the corner. See, that one's a little wrinkly too. Oh, it's, I put a hole in it. You guys didn't see it. You didn't see it. It didn't happen. These, I'm like, I keep moving the camera and not being where I think I am. These two up here, well, in this spot here that I didn't end up using, have a have a clear base. Is this one a little drier now? Can I peel it? They're still so thin, though. Even with the clear. I think I can stick this. Is this wet enough to go directly in here? No. No, it's not. Now I gotta open the yellow stopper with the decal stuck on my finger. Yes, it is, Musical. I agree. Would you stop? You guys hear that? It's my poor footrest. You know, I don't even know if I want to save this. I put a big old fingerprint in it. I'm not going to. Are any of these others? If I can get this one up cleanly, I'll save it. We'll keep, we'll keep the yellow stopper handy. And the only reason I'm peeling some of these others is to get a feel of how they peel. Like I said, the, the better parts of the design are at the lower part of the smush. The top of the smush is thicker, but you, I'm not really too interested in having that on my nails. So it's really finding and getting a good edge and then making sure that it doesn't rip when you start peeling it. It's just difficult. Like, see here? It ripped at the bottom. It ripped a little bit at the side. But got most of it. Oops. Then it folded and everything was ruined. I think for, for decals this thin, 
in particular, like I was saying, I hadn't done stamper decals ever, but for decals this thin, I, I already can say I recommend it because getting it smoothly onto your nail otherwise, I don't think I really want to save that one either, but getting it smoothly onto your nail otherwise is going to be such a pain. Such a pain, I think. All right, let's, uh, this little spot of clear. Can I get you to peel up? Maybe even it's the clear that I used. I'm trying to remember. I might have used, I thought I had used this particular clear last time I did, um, like stamped, like with the image plate stamped cows on a mat. But maybe it was a different, may, it might have been invisible. Might have been cleared for takeoff. Those two are both like Sally Hansen's. And I think they're both a little thicker than the Wet n' Wild. Um, let's see if we can get this kind of big one to peel up here. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. It was based on something Valentine'sy, but not too Valentine'sy suggestion. And the smooshy suggestion, although it's not just a regular smooshy. See, this one is so thin; it's just sh it's just shredding. When you when I try to peel it, it's literally just shredding. Quite good from the top here. That's a little better. I think peeling from the top might be the way to go for most of these. Just just in order to get a better grip. See, but even then, like it ripped on the side. I just need to go slow. Not I'm as patient as I am, not always my strong suit, you guys. Um We'll see. Hopefully. It'll just be easy because I'll just do 10 and by the time I finish the 10th one will be ready to go. <clears throat> Twilight sunsets. They do kind of. Oh. Where are we? Right here. Try to get this last one that had a clear background. Come on. Oh. It's it's still partly not dry. I can't believe it. And it needs to come off the mat now because I'm ready to move on. So. Gonna, ah, there we go. We'll, we'll save this one more. Get off my finger, please. Like I said, it, you, you put it on here and it's a little bit wrinkled, but you can just kind of easily lift it up a little bit and adjust it, smooth it out. You can see on the other side too. Yeah, we'll save this one. Clean up the mat. Take a potty break. And then do nails. In fact, maybe I'll even do these. I'll even do the decals before I do my base coat. That will give them extra uh, additional time to, to dry out. God, this nail is peeling so badly. Ugh. Oh, well, winter. What are you going to do? Wisteria and hydrangea, yes, yeah. I I am I'm, I'm viewing them kind of like more flower petally. Kind of remind me of carnations too, like the way their petals are kind of frilly and pretty. Oops, there it is in the in the book. So we've got a pretty good, you know, collection of examples here of our of our testing actually. 
I'll probably, once they're fully dry and the yellow stopper's fully dry, I'll probably trim off some of the extra little edges that I have and uh, possibly even top coat them. This is really pretty as is. But you know what a little part of me wants to do. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Dino knows. Dino knows. Borb, what's up? Look out for a possible parrot pyramid incoming. I find that highly likely. Uh, get these last couple decals peeled off here. <laughs> Dino. Uh. All right, we'll just clean off. Matt is super messy now. I just yeah, we'll use this other side. Hello. And I'll have to see, I'm probably going to have to scooch this around to get it actually where my uh, tutorial camera will want to look at it. Let's make sure it's nice and clean. What is... I've got a little bit of damage on my mat there. I wonder what that's from. It's it's not from peeling with the tweezers. Because, number one, we weren't this low. Hmm. I'm just trying to think what I've done lately that would have left these kind of scratches on here. I mean, it's not, like, detrimental or anything. It's just... I, I hate... It's probably, you know, goes along with the perfectionist tendencies. I hate when things get, like, scratched or marred or, like, they don't look new anymore. I'm, like, sad. <laughs> um, let's just take a look. I think it should... Wait, is it, is it still out? We We had fairy dust out the other day, you guys, didn't we? Like, I, I wouldn't want to use too much of a hollow because, uh, like I said, I, I like the way it looks. Um, are we, what? Hmm. Well, is this, no. That is not it. Oops. Um. No. Yes. Which is the good bottle? I really need to thin this bottle out. I should leave it out to do that. Okay. Let's. Just let's just see. Well, these are some of the tests that we did, Fuzzy. So we're done testing. Well, except for one more, te one more test. Fairy dust. Like it's it's very subtle especially under the goddamn ring light. Oh. <laughs> I, I shall have to ponder upon this. I don't know if I can capture the hollow on camera for you. Clark is flipping out.
Mm. <laughs> I don't mean to be a tease, Dino. I just I can't decide if I if I like it better with or without um, the hollow. Because sometimes I feel like when it, when it's like a simple design and a more of a of a subtle design that the hollow can actually detract from it instead of like make it pretty and highlight it. Where's turquoise? Dr. Crotron, I had so many color options with this. The The pink was actually supposed to be a little bit more prominent, but I'm not mad that it's turning out more blue and purple because why would I be mad about that? Mm-hmm. But it's not a night sky. It's a flower. It's a flower. <laughs> and I do. I and I know what you mean. You're talking about holographic pearls, and I know exactly where holographic pearls is. It's not super hard to get to, but it's not as accessible as the Zoya's and the China glaze. Revlon is that away, that away, and that away. That that's kind of my thought, music gal. Hollow hollow adds to it looking more night skyish. No hollow adds to it looking more flowerish. Flow flowerish, Fla flowerish. Is that like Irish? <laughs> you Irish? No, I'm flowerish. <laughs> that joke doesn't make any sense. I think I'm still sleepy. I I took a nap today. That's why I actually didn't stream afternoon stream because I decided to lay down and I don't know if it really helped me or not. I was up a little bit earlier than I normally care to be up because I had a meeting and uh I don't know. Like I said, I think the lack of sleep during 12 days of Christmas led to me getting sick like this. So I've been trying to like catch up on sleep or just like really be concentrating on rest, but I'm still just tired like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> flower flowerlyish for <laughs> foul foulish the foulish flower was flowery in its floral arrangement floor maybe florally more florally or more flowery. <laughs> let me let me stop. We we're gonna do this. I I wish that the hollow was. Okay, can you catch that little tiny shimmer? <laughs> well, you like I I'm gonna assume that nine out of ten people in chat know exactly what fairy dust looks like. So you can in your head just like close your eyes and picture that shimmer um probably yellow stopper would be a good idea we we've already i don't know how many minutes ago that was displayed that i do not know how to judge when a regular polish is properly tacky to pick up a stamp floridy a bottle a bottle of what son bottle of bottle of liquor or a bottle of polish <laughs> maybe refill this too when i go to the bathroom here after i put on my sweater here and yeah i'm being all feed you while i'm at it oh a bottle of fairy dust <laughs> okay Music for you guys. BRB for you guys. Um, BRB? What time is it? Hell, yeah, Bean. It's 9.42. I'm going to endeavor to be back to you fine patient people by 9.50. Um, let me find music for you. <laughs> um, 
and then yeah we're gonna we're gonna do these on my nails tonight we're not just doing the decals we're doing everything tonight the plan is do the decals very first then um uh, then we're gonna do like the base coat and base color all that stuff and by the time we get done with that hopefully the decals should be peelable and we'll go ahead and apply them it's 10 o'clock I, don't, I hope I have some East Coast people with me tonight because <laughs> I know a lot of you guys got to get up an adult in the morning and I completely understand if you uh, cannot stay for the whole thing. But I hope you will uh, hang out for a little while longer if you can. Like I said, I'll try to make it as quick as possible. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back.
Thank you for your patience. What have I missed in chat? Oh, lots of chat. Goodness. God, when did I leave? I don't even know what time I left. <laughs> mm. Oh, the low-pitched peacock. Okay, I read that. And yes, that probably was Bainey. <laughs> Yo, is the day off tomorrow? Is that is that tree still blocking your driveway, yo? Like, oh, ice storm. Note to self: park in the garage, <laughs> so you don't have to go to work. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to catch up on chat. I hate missing chat. But t spending too long catching up just makes me get farther behind. But then I'm always like, if I'm just like skimming it. Um, like I still feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, we had we had pretty bad ice here. It wasn't exactly ice storm, like a whole bunch of shit melted and then it actually fully rained and then it got cold again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, first things first, let's get out the big camera. The big cam. Well, it's not that big. Bigger than the webcam. I guess it's all relative. And, uh, probably gonna have to, I'm guessing, drape my, my miracle mat over the edge of my desk to get the spot that I want to do the decals to a spot that the camera can can capture okay and I thought Bean would rejoin us because I fed him but uh so far no Bean um probably in about here and where are we like right here yeah like right here Yeah, um, that's fine. I'll actually put that over there. And this, like over here. Okay. Actually, oh, I'm I'm nervous about making the actual decals for my actual fingers, you guys. Why does that happen? Like, I just did several tests that I was quite happy with. But now I'm like... Oh. <laughs> Paranoid. Like, I don't know. It's got five minutes. I'm going to forget how I did it. I don't know. Yeah, large hail can be super damaging. And it always seems like... I don't know. When, when you get enough, I remember seeing a, someplace got enough that they had to plow it like it was snow. Like, that's really crazy. Probably I should make a nice... Let's turn this paper towel. Dang it! There was still acetone in there and I thought it was empty. Oh, well. Um... I just wanted to get to like a clean side of my dang paper towel here. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, yeah. It's it's, it's for some reason. Well, I guess it's actually kind of obvious, but like when you you're at work and you see that stuff happening, it's always like, I want to go home now, please. <laughs> please let me go home now. Probably for the camera's sake. Well, I need to make sure you guys are looking at the right location also. Be like right here. This is kind of in your guys' way, but maybe if we do a little bit like this. I don't I don't want it to get that far away though, and I don't want to be reaching too much. Yeah, this'll this'll have to well, maybe like, of course, what are we at here as far as zoom? Maybe I want to be. Actually, maybe that would be much better. And then I could just do. Let's. Let's do that zoom. Just have these few. Okay. I think that'll work better. And then I can keep these like a little bit closer and you guys can still see also <clears throat> pop back around midday <laughs> a scary noise <clears throat> okay <clears throat> for these decals I'm working on my miracle mat I'm going to start off with a largest drop of the purple and then a little bit more probably around like two drops of both the pink and the blue once I've got them all laid out I'm going to smoosh with my stamper and then move it down a little bit into the side. That's a horrible one. Why do I have to start out with a horrible one? What did I even do wrong? My fears were not unfounded. My fears were correct. What did I, I didn't get any purple in it. Okay. We just we just gotta do it again. That that was just a one off. That that was just a one off. It'll be fine. We'll do it right this time. <laughs> Even though I'm not quite sure what I did wrong that time. Maybe I didn't quite smoosh it enough the first smoosh. <sighs> Weird to see a car going down the street sideways. Yeah. Not, not the correct direction. Yeah, cut. <clears throat> it would be easier to, I just, I can't quite figure out a way to do it that, that would be comfortable. I mean, like the, the barrel, you, I mean, it's, it's the clear stamper. If I could find a, an angle that was really comfortable to see like what I was doing through the stamper. But it's kind of weird. Oh. <clears throat> Too scared to go back to sleep? Oh no. I go to sleep to rain every night. I have a, a video that I listen to of rain. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> For these decals, I'm working on my Miracle Mat. I'm going to start with a largest drop of the purple. Then I'm going to move into the pink. I'm going to use a little bit more, about like two drops, and about the same amount of the blue, about two drops. Then I'm going to, with my stamper, smoosh it down, and then start moving the stamper down and a little bit back and forth. That's not a good one either. 
how in between the testing and this did I lose did I lose myself I'm not happy with that one you know okay you know what we're gonna do here I've got a plan I've got an excellent plan here part one of plan clean up the mat the heck are you get off step two of the plan do some tests off camera <laughs> okay you guys all right we're gonna go way over here which is not on tutorial camera and we're just gonna practice a couple Big drop of purple, bigger drop of pink. Is that a follow? Thank you very much, somebody, for following in my hour of frustration. <laughs> and then maybe I can, okay, what if I do like, That's good. That's good. Want to know what I did? I tried. It didn't super work, but it kind of worked. Um, where the hell are my notifications too? Also, Candy Kisses eighteen. Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so we just need to do that with the camera running. Let's try again. Let's try that again. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's let's do that again. Largest drop of purple. More pink. Like two drops of pink. A lot of blue, two drops of blue. Let's try and like. That one's pretty good too. I kind of want to like fix some things, but that's good too. Okay, let's do it on camera. Can we do it on camera, you guys? Like I'm asking you, like you're gonna be able to predict. Press one for yes. Press two for ha ha. Not this time. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like I was doing that much differently, but apparently I was. I think it comes down to not being fully aware and even. Okay. So like when you stamp through it or when you're looking through it, you don't get to, can I, how can I possibly like, that's what you see. You see that smear of purple because the pattern that's getting stamped is what's on actually this side of the stamper. So you see like that biggest initial stamp of purple, but it's still giving me more control than what I was doing before. So we're going to stick with that. <clears throat> oh, no, we are sleeping with his eyes open. Just go over and be like... <laughs> beanie does that sometimes or he'll sleep with a little blep and i'll take i'll like take a couple pictures and then i'll go on i'll like poke him until he sticks it back in his mouth <clears throat> dino believes wait is one you believe or is one i'm gonna fuck it up i think one is believe <laughs> i've already forgotten <clears throat> all right Ooh, camera, you've acquired a new a new splotch of pink. I always feel bad when my camera starts getting nail polish all over it. I mean, honestly, Dr. Crotron, cottage cheese sounds better than chocolate milk, but I'm not a chocolate milk fan. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
for these decals, I'm going to be working directly on my Miracle Mat. I'm going to add a largest drop of the purple and then a little bit more of the pink, about two drops, and also about two drops of the blue. Then I'm going to go ahead and smoosh them with my stamper and then move the smoosh gently down and side to side, creating kind of a feathered petal pattern like that. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stamper. I've got just a lint roller to help me uh, keep my clear stamper clear since they don't like acetone. And I'm going to make probably at least 10 decals with maybe one or two spares just in case we have any issues with peeling and then I'm going to leave them to fully dry. Yay y'all. That one's a little bit wonky but still good. For tutorial benefit, we're not going to move to the second row because that's what's like really centered in my camera. And I hope you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can still see it. And then I'll make some some adjustments to you guys' camera for the rest of them. Probably just do these these center for for the tutorial. That one's kind of there. That's better. That one's kind of weird, but I still like it. We're gonna have, we're gonna have some decisions to make, you guys, on if we just want to pick the ones that are like all different, or if I end up with enough that are kind of similar, that I can have all similar designs on my nails. Might not, that might not be a thing that's possible. I just hope I get enough that peel decently that I don't have to go back and remake any. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely making extras. The first one is the best one. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing them that differently, but they're turning out so differently. Hers were so consistent, y'all. Hers were so consistent. Root beer milk. I could I could probably get down with that. Like a melted like a melted float. Knitting machines. Wait a minute. What else am I missing here? Cottage cheese and tomatoes. See, I'm not a fan of like tomatoes. Cotton candy milk, I'm not surprised. I mean that's basically just sugar milk. But do they like sell root beer flavored milk or do you like just mix your own root beer milk at home? Peeps flavored milk? So <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. I do not have the love enabled. Should I turn it on? Oh, he's on a roll tonight. Go butt spot. Maybe. I feel like I'm getting... You know what? Let's... What the hell? It's right here. We've got another stamper right here. Let's see if we notice any appreciable difference. Because we... What? Two, four, six. I want to do at least six more. That would be 10 plus two spares. Oops, there we go. I, sh I should have just tried this one during the testing. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> Fail. No, I can't. That's not a good one. I feel like I would have to get used to it all over again. Whoa. <laughs> it, it, uh, 
it had its cap on and I didn't realize its bottom cap. And I was pressing it and it was like. Maybe that was part of the problem. We'll do one more with this one. But I don't feel like it's good. As good. I might have just gotten so used to the other one already, though, that it's. Part of it is. That's not too bad. Part of it is. Like. It's still dirty, too. I know. I haven't cleaned it. You can see how fat it is. Like, if I... Where can I show this that you guys can see? If I try to rest it on its side, like, to rock it, I'm actually resting it on the stamper head. Whereas this one, if I hold it, like, on the side to rock it, I'm actually on the side of the barrel. Also, I, I realized, like, random thoughts you have in the shower. Um why I per almost always preferred this one in tutorials. It's because you can see better inside the barrel because the barrel is transparent. Whereas this one, like you can see inside the barrel, but it's darker because the sides are completely opaque. And it's so obvious to me now. And it's like, it's just, it's something that I recognized without really thinking about. And then it was like, I actually thought about it. I was like, oh, it's a thing that I do that does, I do actually make sense. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes butt spot <laughs> peeps I don't know I don't remember the last time I had a regular flavored peeps because they have like all those flavored peeps now like uh orange creamsicle flavored peeps which are delicious um I mean if you're into marshmallow texture if you don't like marshmallow texture then I suppose it doesn't matter what the flavor is <clears throat> The scientific disagreement about peep seating. Sorry, ice, ice chewing. Okay, let's get a couple more good ones, please. Self. I think maybe two kind of keeping them closer all together than when it gets kind of longer and drawn out is maybe a little better. Some more like that. That's kind of a weird one. I started being afraid I was going to smoosh into this one that's already here. This, this first one I did on camera actually is one of the best ones. This one, these couple over here. We just, we just needed some more good ones. Blue. Thalo blue. No, this isn't Thalo blue. It's way too light. There. That's another really good one. Huh? Huh? <clears throat> the gritty sugar coating texture chew. Is that is that a positive or a negative for you? Musical. If I'm not careful, this nail is going to break off. Can you see? See the peeling? Oh, it looks, it's so bad. I just peeled off a peel of my nail. Don't do that, boys and girls. Or mostly girls, probably. Boys probably do it anyway. It's not good for your nails. It's not a good thing. All right, we've got, oops. Two, four, six, eight. Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. We've got ten. So technically we have enough for a manicure if we would assume that they would all just be like flawless and great. But uh, I think we know better than that. 
It just tastes like a mistake. The texture's your biggest gripe. Oh my god. Negative for you. <laughs> a lizard. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, well, see, that's why the flavored ones are extra good, son, because they just come in like little three packs. <laughs> so they're perfect serving size. Yes, yeah, Sapphire. I mean, kind of. We have some successes. I I could not tell you what I was doing with the successes that I'm do not doing with the failures. Other than that, I think it has to do with like, you got to move your stamper around, but not too much. Like, to get the really kind of layered, almost feathery effect. Feathery petals. They're petals, but they're also feathers. This actually would be really cool to, like, do in, like, shades of brown. And you could, like, add in, like, little hand-painted, like, white speckles or stamp over it with like a with, like, a feather pattern plate. Ooh. That would be so cool. I don't know if I have a feather pattern plate of which I imagined in my head, but. See, that's, see I feel like that's too far away. Get up there. Like, you definitely want them to touch, and I feel like you want them to overlap more than I get them overlapping sometimes. Like, this long set of dots here, I don't feel like is as good as a more con con condensed set of dots, but let's see if I can kind of. No, see, that's goofy looking. Let me very concertedly put these dots close together. Concertedly? Well, well not quite that close. God damn. <laughs> the draft is like numed off the brush. So you see how much more squat that is. Kinda not, that's not exactly only it though. I like this one, I like that one. Not a huge fan of this one or this one, definitely not that one. In fact, that one. I might take that one just off the sheet and do another one there. <clears throat> Regular, you ever had homemade marshmallows, Music Gal? Homer sounds. Nom. 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 Like so much nom. Nom is a technical term if anybody's not aware. It means, uh. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything pretentious to have it mean. Okay. Yeah, don't mind that ugly one that was here. Well, we'll do a fresh one there. Once it dries a little bit. <laughs> I'm not recording. I just recorded those center four. Only, which, I mean, they weren't all bad. The first one where I was narrating was the best one. We've got a couple more slot spaces over here, and then one more that I just cleaned off on the other side. <sighs> Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's last year's peeps milk. <laughs> yeah, that was on the on the list of things to do. I I I should blah 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 blah. I'm gonna try and remember to do it next month. Part of Water Marble March. Wait, Jack Daniels marshmallows? Sunburnt. Oh, <laughs> hi snoopy oh <laughs> no you didn't miss the whole stream sparkly we we've got a lot to go we're we're doing decals with mixed results and uh these are the decals that will be going on my nails so we've still got most of a manicure to go <laughs> um I wonder 
I mean, Buttspot is just like a regular channel. I should add in some commands of some of the channels that I know he has gifted subs in. <laughs> like, Buttspot actually has quite a few subscriptions. <laughs> he gets gifted them all the time. I think bots with gifted subscriptions are one of the funniest things. All right, let's see if we can get a good one here. Better than what we had there. Now, in this this case, this is a case where having shorter than usual nails is going to be a bonus. Because if I had really long nails, I'd be looking at these like, man, is there is there enough for my nail? Like with my little short nails, I almost certainly can find enough on all these to uh, to find some good spot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really pleased, and I, I'm positive I use this combination all the time. But uh, I'm, I'm, qu I'm liking how this turned out. Um, and inspo, exclamation point inspo, to see the uh, nail art that inspired me. I'm probably going to turn this into another Manny vs. Pin, because why not? <laughs> um, I did with the, the water marble, the red swirl water marble. And uh, definitely think this too. Although, I mean, initially the whole Manny versus Pin was like literally trying to exactly recreate what I saw, which in this case I'm not because I was not super a fan of the colors that they chose to use. That's a pretty nice one. <clears throat> yeah, musical. Like, like, just some graham crackers and some marshmallow, I'll be good. Like, the chocolate is like an afterthought. <laughs> a dry, half-melted cracking cracker into it. This place called me, I think I've talked about them uh, nostalgically before, because I'm always like, oh man, I should go over there, and then I never do called Yum. They do a s'mores, except it's not with, like, hard graham crackers. It's like with a soft graham cracker cookie. I mean, not like super soft, but like not like hard as a cracker. Like cook, like a cookie. Oh, so good. I wish I had one right now. They only make them like once a year though. And I don't think they made them at all last year and it made me sad. If they made them, I completely missed them. And yeah, and so then the graham cracker cookie is like got a schmear of like really nice dark chocolate. And then like this soft interior homemade marshmallow center. Mm. yeah sparkly i could get down with that you know and i would be much more frustrated with this dessert talk except yesterday y'all <laughs> yesterday i made cookies i have a tin of cookies sitting here next to my desk just waiting for me to give in peanut butter cookies with oatmeal and peanut butter chips and butterscotch chips Oh, please try not to be too jealous. All right, come on here. That one's kind of blendy. A little bit, a little bit blendy there. <clears throat> I really like this one. <clears throat> Peanut butter chocolate rice krispies. Hell yeah. Show show you guys. Oh, I'm gonna try and make them last. I made them small too, so they're just like. Mm. They're not. They're not like completely homemade. I'm not gonna. I mean, I do know how to make cookies, but these were uh, a jazzed up mix. Just like edited the recipe a little bit, made them a little wetter because I was putting in the oatmeal. Because otherwise, if you try to mix in like a whole bunch of, of chips and oatmeal and stuff like that, like the cookie just gets so dry, like hard to mix. Oh, and then take them, per, per the peeps discussion earlier, and roll them in sugar before you bake them. Like roll them into a little ball and then take the little ball and roll it in sugar. 
and it gives them this like crunchy sugary outside but they're still chewy and delicious in the middle that's a pretty good one it's kind of lopsided but i like it You are perfectly imperfect, a happy little accident. Mmm. Wait, using maple maple syrup to make what chewy? Oh, chocolate chip cookie. Ch keto chocolate chip with maple syrup. Now, I'm not even too down for chocolate chip. Wait, no. The chocolate chips are musicals. Oh, but you are also talking. I'm just like, we're all just, everybody has a sweet tooth now. eat it <laughs> apologize my snort of laughter <laughs> mm. maybe maybe once we maybe once we finish the decals we'll have a celebratory cookie i'm gonna do three more how many do we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen we're gonna end up with because i've got here and then two more spots and then we're just gonna pick our favorites and hope they peel these are super, super thin decals, you guys. And uh, we have already had some issues. Oh! <laughs> okay, hold on here. My webcam has come unmounted. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell? I guess all this moving it around back and forth. Okay, get on there. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Oh, my God. This has not happened before. Okay, there we go. And you can still see. <laughs> oh, we're, it's, it's all live. <laughs> well, you still keep finding salad down to Crotron. How possibly? Or maybe, were you like, okay, was it like the salad was on a table and the fork was like, you know, out of the, out of the bowl like this and then you sat down and catapulted it. I'm giving you an out here, Dr. Crotron. Yeah. Yeah, Sapphire. Exactly. I, I I have such a sweet tooth. It's so hard. I mean, like I can eat healthy. I don't dislike healthy food. I just also really, really like unhealthy food. Chocolate chip espresso cookies. Oh, and you and your daughter made them. You didn't even have to make them. Hell yeah, yo. Snoopy, he, he claims he catapulted salad all over the room earlier accidentally, which I don't know how you accidentally catapult anything. Fogo to Chow, I've heard of that. I've never been there either. Somebody want to come take me to Fogo to Chow? I don't even know if there, if that's a restaurant that's in Minnesota. <laughs> Spot spot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Hope they peel a knockoff of Simply Peel. Well, I mean, it depends on what you call a knockoff. I've not heard of that one. There's a lot of peeling thingies. I mean, you could say Simply Peel is a knockoff of just regular ass latex. Um, there's tons out there. I don't. I don't know. Mm. too much meat there's not such a thing last I checked no I know some people are not my mom is like that she also like doesn't think bacon needs to be on a hamburger <laughs> like are you sure you're my mother <laughs> bacon needs to be wherever the hell bacon wants to be wherever the hell bacon is possibly allowed is where it should be In, in as large as quantity as is reasonable. Whoa. Sometimes it's hard to keep the movements minimal. That one didn't get very much purple at all. Dang it. Dang it. All right, can you guys see over here? Just barely, let me scooch this a little bit like that. Rather than unscrewing the camera again, which is apparently what I was doing before. <laughs> downtown okay i've probably driven by it when i used to drive through downtown sparkly 
Just the bacon and no burger. I can respect that, son. <laughs> she would, my mom would absolutely be on you guys' side with the avocado burgers, though. That's a thumbs up, I'm pretty sure, for her. With pe- peanut butter seems so weird, but I would try it. Juicy Lucy's is like with cheese inside of it. Which I don't know that I've ever had at the actual... There's like a, two or three places that claim to be like the creator. <laughs> Bacon can be anywhere near you. Not good with cough syrup, ew. Well, cough syrup will just ruin anything. Unless it's Dimetap, then it's delicious. <laughs> oh, that would be the only cough medicine I could take as a child. Mmm, delicious grape. (laughs) All right. Let's get a couple more good ones here. Oh, yeah. God, that's a great one. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I swear I'm not doing anything different. I'm doing the same thing every time. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) I know. Oh. Can we get one more good one, you guys? Yeah, the whole... Like, I mean... Getting high on cough syrup just seems like... I don't know. Can't relate. <laughs> it's not that damn delicious. I don't recall it being particularly, like, mind-altering. Remember there was a South Park episode about it. All right, let's get another good one. That was kind of good. So, let's call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are there any that are so bad that I want to get rid of them and do something else in their place? Yes. Let's see if we can just get rid of this one. Way over here on the other side of the mat again. And I think this one. It's too it's too light and this one is too dark. Okay. You are just about completely dead there. Uh piece of cotton. All right, so, whoa, no, no. Okay, it's fine, help. (sighs) Just dirty. I'm always just afraid it's gonna land on something, something sharp and damage the stamper head when it rolls off my desk into the abyss. Who knows what's down there? The one, which one with the big, did I get, I, did I get the one you meant music or do you mean like this one? I'm not a huge, I don't want to like just sit here and redo all of them. <laughs> Cause I would, I would like to get to the manicure. <clears throat> all right. Let's just get, can we get all the fuzz off here? No. Cause we have a cat. We also have unruly hair, which has made an appearance again and is super fuzzy and frizzy. Okay. (laughs) Cherry flavored dreams. 
Black pepper candy bacon. Waff waffles. You know, waffles actually wouldn't be bad. I'm not starving. I'm kind of hungry. What did I eat? Oh, I had a burger. I had a burger and I had some carrots. And I had some pull apart cheesy bread. It's like a full meal. I don't know why I'm hungry. Probably because I didn't have any dessert. <laughs> well, that feels messy. Looks cool though. I can I can I can keep that one. Go here. And then we'll go back and do one more on the other side and then we'll let them dry while we work on base coat and base color and etc. That one's a little bit weird, but okay. It's like, it's such small increments that whether you move half a millimeter or you move two millimeters is the difference between, you know, like this and this. If you move too far, it's not good. If you don't move far enough, it's not good. We've got one more spot that I cleared off over here we're gonna do. And then we're gonna call these decals done. Um, and the, the mat is getting wonky anyway as they dry. It'll go back flat. I mean, it always has so far. But when things start to dry, it just starts to pull it in weird directions. Uh, not a huge fan of that one, but like I said, I'm ready to be done with with this part. Okay, let's put away the stamper so it doesn't get hurt. Wait, I thought it was cottage cheese or chocolate milk. Now he's saying cottage cheese and chocolate milk. Plus, like, are you getting this from, like, room service or do you travel with a cooler of, like, cottage cheese and milk, Dr. Grotron? Okay, close the polish. This is pre this is pretty good. I think for a first attempt at this, I'm gonna call this the first attempt at this technique because this isn't like regular smooshying. I feel like there's a lot of subtleties to this. I feel like this is a yet another technique that is gonna be super, super different depending on uh, exactly what polishes you use, stuff like that. Um, but I think we're off to a, a pretty decent start here. <clears throat> mm, only 30 minutes for lunch. Oh, you go to the store and buy things. Well, that's just too fucking logical. <laughs> I suppose by now you usually are going to the same places, so it's not like you're in the middle of a of a strange town and don't know, you know, what the hell, where the hell anything is or what you're going to do. Probably know all the convenient locations to get all the things that you like to have. I mean, your, your traveling experience is much, much different than my traveling experience. Like, I travel once a year. You travel once a week. Room service usually sucks. Really? I've, I've never had room service. Can't you write it off? Look, you guys made me go here. I needed food, damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just swiping down my nails in preparation for base coat and things. Mmm, stuffed French toast.
with K. It's probably another divisive food topic. Y'all know about French toast with cheese? Yes or no? It's delicious, I guarantee you. And real maple syrup. Not, I mean, nothing against Aunt Jemima, but you're not real maple syrup. Sorry. <clears throat> $25 cheeseburger, yeah. <laughs> With the most whipped cream on top, yeah. Yeah, like cheddar or like uh, Colby. And I mean, I'm the type of detail-oriented person where, you know, I'll like cut my pieces of french toast you know like cut it in three slices this way and four this way so i'm like well, okay so each piece of french toast my two stack slices is now in 12 individual pieces so i need 24 individual pieces of cheese one to go with each piece of french toast and i mean depending but usually maple syrup on the side because otherwise everything gets all soggy as as you guys may have noted We've discussed this before. I'm a hugely picky eater. And I was supposed to have a cookie, wasn't I, for successfully keep completing the decals. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, are we supposed to do this like a social eating food ASMR or what? I don't think it's going to be too crunchy. Although it does have, can you guys see the little, the sugar crunchies on the outside? I mean, it was it really crunchy. I don't know if you guys even heard that bite. Hmm? Oatmeal. Hmm. There's like a butterscotch chip right there. They're oranger than the peanut butter chips. Peanut butter chips are like brown. That's so good, you guys. I'm not going to be able to eat one, though. I do want to actually, you know, do my nails. <laughs> These are our peanut butter cookies with oatmeal, peanut butter chips, and butterscotch chips. Hey, Caritha. We just finished up. Let me scooch the mat a little bit. Doing these decals. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> and yeah. I just cleaned off all my nails and I remembered I was supposed to eat a cookie. Mm. Oh no! This subpar cottage cheese dock? I could send you a cookie in the mail. All you need to do is tell me all your real information. <laughs> I'm sorry. We were having this conversation the other day. What do you do if you're watching a stream? You're like, what do you do if you're watching me and all of a sudden I'm legit choking on this cookie? The unfortunate true answer is nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This food bottle. There's a nail streamer in Minneapolis, Minnesota, choking to death right now. Her name is Colette. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not. It wouldn't be funny if it happened. <clears throat> mm. That's a good. Yeah, dox myself to save my life. Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Doc's stream we were talking about, like, extreme, like, yeah, what if you just stroke out on stream? <laughs> yeah, funny, not funny. Mm. Oh, God. And, oh, God, what the hell's on my... Okay, that's apparently left over from dinner. A giant greasy fingerprint on my water bottle. Oh, that was so uncomfortable. It landed like directly in the cleavage. The ice cold drop of water. 
least that's like not on stream where I'd probably get like TOS. No ice cold water in the cleavage for bits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, we do have ready for takeoff. Too ready for takeoff, am I right? <laughs> it's the sad truth. Especially when I'm gaming. God, my thumb almost always is peeling off on me on Sunday nights, you guys. Like halfway through my all night stream. And I think it's because, you know, when you're pressing the buttons and you're press, 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 and you're like putting all this pressure on your thumb. And then all of a sudden you're flexing your nail bed just that slightly and then your nail's gone. I mean, not, not my nail, but my polish. <clears throat> Dr. Crow Draw. Oh, Crow Lude. Crow Lude. <laughs> God, it's cheese soulmates. Oh, God. You guys. You guys are the best kind of a trip. If my nose weren't running, I would completely have forgotten I'm sick right now. <laughs> Ooh, I got like peanut butter crumbs. <clears throat> Starting off with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. Oh. I do wish my nose would stop running. I think I guess it's because I laughed so hard. <clears throat> I read that out of context. It could be about all kinds of things. <laughs> Uh, you're also very lucky the butt spot didn't get you there. <laughs> Son, that realization like, oh my God, there's snacks in this house that I desire. That always is like great though when you you know you kind of want something and you don't feel like going out at all and then all of a sudden you realize you have something that you want within reach. <laughs> you know, these are looking really nice and dry too. Even which was the last one? This one? That was one of the last ones. I hope they peel okay. That's that's going to be the challenge. That's what I, that's my next thing to be super nervous about. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, glass man cometh. Toby, what's up? How's your stream, man? Subtrop, deer clops. Wow. We got the glass holes coming in strong. <laughs> Welcome to my nail art streaming, guys. We are currently... Well, all the panties. <laughs> Woody, Alexa, Shazam, Tiki, Tiki, Cybernome, Tav, lots of people, lots of emotes. This is boring, but this, let me scooch this a little bit. This is what we're going to be putting on my nails. So <laughs> we just, uh, we finished making these just a little while ago. They're drying. They're mostly dry, I think. Tiki Torch, thank you for the follow. Subtrop, thank you for the follow. Yeah, these uh, this is a new technique for me. I saw it. Well, I saw it on Facebook and then I tracked it down on Instagram. Yeah, I do have that peel off base coat, Shazam. Sometimes we even got the peel porn. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. And the peel music. <laughs> so. Yes, the, the famous ready for takeoff peel off base coat. In fact, we uh I actually 
Actually, I do have some within reach. We we can look at peelies of my last manicure once I finish putting on some base coat. <laughs> oh, and I am also I I record I do YouTube tutorials, so I record my YouTube tutorials while I'm live streaming. Alex McKnight, thank you for the follow. Candy Cripple, thank you for the follow. Chihuahua Mama and Cybernome, thank you both for the follows. My uh my alerts can barely keep up. And I don't know if somewhere in all these emotes and, and compliments and stuff, uh, if Toby ever answered me. But I'm going to assume that the, the stream was pretty lit since it normally is. I, I do my own feet, but not on stream because, you know, TOS. <laughs> every, every now and then I might put a pedicure picture on Instagram, but, you know, it's... For some reason, I mean, there's plenty of people that like really dig fingernails too, but the toenail picks really seem to bring out the uh, the fetishists. Although they're usually pretty polite. I, I haven't had any pop in here on Twitch, but on YouTube they're usually pretty polite. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tiki. And thank you again, Toby. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Simply Nail Logical. I've I've talked with Simply Nail Logical and Ben. And thank you, Doctor Crotron. Definitely, uh, some of you I've I've hosted Glassman before. Uh, really, really cool. Guess what? Kind of glass that he blows. Kind of OG creative from what I've picked up. I'm completely not OG creative. I am a baby noob streamer. Well, can I can I still claim baby noob streamer status? I've been streaming for nine months. We just had some eight month eight month resubs and I think that was like a month after I started. So yeah, we'll call it nine months. So I feel I feel like anything under a year I can still claim streamer noob. Yeah, since last May. When he was a goth kid. Alright. Is this dry enough? I think this is dry enough to add a base color. So. We've got our Zoyas here. These are the colors that we're using today. The blue is going to be our base color. Should we clean it up before we have it on camera? Probably. Since it's got uh, nail polish all over it. No longer baby noob. But come on. I'm... Dang it, I was gonna say I'm the I'm the most recent streamer of the porch, but I guess Luke is now. I you you can't stop me from claiming baby noob status, Dr. Crotron. There, that's better. Um okay, purple, pink, blue, camera. Thank you, Arcadian Soul. Yeah, I uh I had asked for requests in discord and people were like well something that could be valentine's but doesn't have to be valentine's so i started thinking about flowers somebody else requested a smooshy and then i recalled this smooshy that i had seen <laughs> yeah not just noob but baby noob and uh it's ac it's actually a purple it is showing up very blue on my webcam do i have a blue like oops sorry guys No, I thought maybe an actual blue would try to bring out the purple more, but it's not. It's, you know, interestingly, it looks purple here. That's the same one. So that's kind of interesting. The webcam, I feel like, is always a challenge with accurately picking up colors. So <clears throat> I started before. I did not. I did not, Dr. Crotron. <laughs> yes, Alex, I am. That is that is what the MSLP is for. I am my simple little pleasures. Which uh has like like after having done it for like ten years, I'm like, man, maybe I should have picked a better name because that can be misunderstood. <laughs> oh, Christina's, Christ, yeah, Christina's Stitchcrafts. Thank you for the follow. Um, 
So I don't know if that means you're super young or if middle school was a super long time ago, Alex, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still doing the nail art or at least trying. <laughs> he does have extremely steady hands. Like if you have ever washed a glass blower and they're sitting there and they're like turning and turning and turning, but the end is staying in like the same spot and they're like turning and turning and turning and it just like stays so steady. And if you like have something in your hand, like pick it up and try to turn it like held out and like hold it. And it's, I don't know. It's, it's kind of impressive. It's super fascinating. Plus it's a, uh, oftentimes an evening stream, which I like don't have very many people I watch in the evening now. So I was really glad to find Toby. It's a cool dude, a little bit lewd, but I think most of my, most of my fans would be okay with that. <clears throat> I did not Dr. Crotron because you were streaming, uh, Senua before I streamed. I'm pretty sure I've been following your channel since 2017. So there. <laughs> Dang it. My tutorial camera turned off because I'm taking too long. Okay, a little, a youngster. <laughs> you, you are a very impressive individual. Impressive dancing too. I was lurking last night. And all those subs kept coming in and all the, uh, twerking. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But don't think the glass blowers never make mistakes. Toby makes mistakes all the time. <laughs> Singeing himself while dancing with hot glass in his hands. Mm. All right. We're going to record a little bit, get a little bit of base color going here. Now we can chat some more. Excuse me. <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are from Zoya. The dark purple is Belinda. The pink is Jordan. And the light blue, which I'm also going to be using as a base color, is blue. The blue is named blue, y'all. Mm. So I do actually have like multiple cameras going. I've got my webcam and then I've got my tutorial camera mounted right above it on the ring light. So I usually, yeah, you guys can still see. Sometimes I lose track of which camera is pointed where and whether or not you guys can see, but I try to keep track. That's super messy. There's a, there's a, You guys see it? A little hair or a little loose. There we go. <clears throat> and it doesn't particularly matter if I'm messy. I never particularly care if I'm messy because it's super easy to clean up around the edges. And since we're doing decals, we're already going to have to clean up around the edges. So why waste your life trying to paint neatly? And the base color doesn't have to be particularly even either. This is just in case we get any little tears in the decals or if we have any spots that are particularly thin to where it would be a little bit transparent. We don't want, you know, naked nail peeking through. <clears throat> yeah, I, de I definitely have uh, the Twitch voice and the, and the YouTube voice, Alex. <clears throat> it's kind of like my my professional voice and my my le less professional voice. Also, of course, the tut the tutorials are really I try I mean some of them can be a little bit more rambly, but I try to be more to the point. Whereas obviously the streams are full of all kinds of extra stuff that gets edited out of the tutorials. Am I still recording here? I can turn this off once we finish the base color we're gonna get to see hopefully these decals peel up they're very very thin which makes the peeling more difficult 
I almost wonder if I should... Hmm. Like I said, the, the tweezers that she was using in her tutorial are like weird and long and flat and angled. Doc, you probably have a pair for your Gundam. <laughs> I don't... I don't know how you, I sp you know, it really is unfortunate that that quote didn't turn out to be quote number three, because then you'd probably be able to remember it better. <laughs> oh yeah, I always do both hands. I, it's, it's one of the things I think, in fact, this one, my, my peeling nail is really bugging me. I'm going to add a little bit more. I, a lot of nail artists seem to only do their left hand, or in some cases only like four fingers on the left hand and not even their thumb. And, like, I know not everybody that watches nail art tutorials is actually going to go do the nail art. But if you are, then it's kind of important to know and to present it as something that can be done on both hands. Not something that you have to be, you know, super skilled with your dominant hand in order to do. <clears throat> <laughs> a little bit of subliminal messaging subtrop and your amethyst your comment just made me realize beanie never did rejoin us oh i wonder where he is yeah can you smell it <laughs> zoyas don't really smell too bad i mean they're what are they now eight free Yeah, I've, uh, I usually will post both hands on Instagram since you can do the little swipey swipe thing. <laughs> okay, um, they, they feel dry. Even the ones that I did last feel really dry. Well, we're just, I mean, we're just going to have to. Shit, why did I put the stamper away? We were going to use the stamper for application. I, I completely forgot. Alright, Subtrop. Have a nice shower, and I don't mean anything like weird by that. Just like... <laughs> Realize that could come off like, ooh. <laughs> Have a nice shower. <laughs> He's not in the closet, Dr. Crotron. I would hear him. I think. I really, I don't, I, I thought he might be like on the bed, but unless he's, no, he's not over there either. <laughs> Guys, I'm very, very nervous about how these are going to peel. All right. So let's. Oops. I'm I'm kind of awkward right now because my nails are not fully dry and I'm trying to like get this adjusted where I want it to be for the camera. I mean, basically, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it and cross our fingers. I'm gonna clean off the tweezers first so that they're like nice and clean and smooth. Hopefully will help. Yeah, we thought about doing a clear. The main problem with that is my impatience. <laughs> like I wanted to, I didn't want to do them and then wait overnight for them to dry. I wanted to do them now. And some of the testing, we did about two hours of testing before we got to the manicure. Some of the testing I tried with a clear base coat or a clear underneath the smooshy. And it didn't really seem super effective. So we're just going to be very delicate here. Like cross our fingers. And uh, see how it goes. <clears throat> We've got like a lot of glare here. Like more glare than I'd actually prefer. Actually, I guess we'll have to deal with that. 
Okay. <clears throat> Once the decals are dry, you want to carefully, very carefully peel them up. They're pretty thin. And so partly because of that, I'm going to use the stamper to help me apply them. Basically going to get a lip pulled up and then very slowly, carefully peel off the decal. You can see we got a little bit of ripping there, but not bad. Press it onto the stamper. Make sure that it's nice and smooth. You can kind of tug on the sides and replace it if you need to, but it's a lot easier than doing it on your nail. So that's the side we're going to be putting on our nail. So we're going to use a little bit of yellow stopper. And once that's dried just slightly so that it's tacky, I'll go ahead and apply the decal and then repeat that for all my nails. What direction am I putting these on you guys? Kind of maybe kind of bursting toward the outside of the nail. You know, cause like we've got maybe a kind of an angle. Hmm. Let's see. Is this, I, I don't want to go too soon and have it not pull off. Like you, I, sh I maybe could have even applied the yellow stopper before I peeled it off, but I wasn't sure how much trouble it was going to give me peeling. <clears throat> don't cross fingers with wet polish slanted yeah the best direction I mean I'm thinking like kind of like this can, can you guys see? I'm, I'm looking through the wrong camera and you guys can't even see it so it like slightly an angle yeah I think that'll work all right, here we go. Oh, come on. Whoa, come on, come on, come on. The yellow stopper was not dry enough. But it's fine. Okay. Which of these other ones do we want to do? I shouldn't have stopped recording. I do still want to record some of these. But I'm going to have to like be sliding this all around to actually capture them on camera. Because some of them are far off to the side. These two... These two that are all the way on the end over here are really good. These ones. Let's, uh, this time we'll yellow stopper pre, pre peeling give it a little bit extra time to dry make sure it's like a thin coat like you don't need much of it to be sticky yeah starting the peel from the thicker end is definitely the way to go see how it still breaks a little bit <laughs> invisible toy or a ghost or a little fluff of her own fur <laughs> sometimes beanie chases his own tail like a dog okay going for that same kind of angle here are you sticking please stick oh, okay 
still wasn't quite dry enough. Oh my god. It's sticking though. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I think this one. Ooh, it's thin even at the top. I feel like this one might rip you guys. I think I still have enough. I'm disappointed by how much how much of that one got left behind though. You know, these edges. Give this a minute to dry. Now you're nervous? Don't be nervous, Dr. Curtron. It's only nail polish. We've got plenty of extras. I mean, if anything just goes totally fucked, we'll just do it over. I'm just, I'm impatient. In fact, maybe I'll also... Nope, I'm just going to try and force it and hurry it. If I go... Like, I'm trying hard also, you guys, to not, um, like the corners where I started, like the big blob, I, I don't want that part on my nail. That one got a couple of wrinkles in it, but it's okay. Which is our next best one. Um, one, two, three, four, mm. let's, let's do this one. No, let's do this one. No, let's do this one. I, I'm, I'm okay. This one, we're doing this one. The other one that I was just looking at, we'll put on the thumb. I really should have decided before I started sticking them on my nails which ones were going to go on which nails to save these last minute decision making decisions. On stick from the tweezer please. There we go. <clears throat> but in gel you know I don't know if this would work in gel like you can't you, I, I've never seen anybody make decals with gel Cause like it gets so it gets so hard when you cure it that uh you know it wouldn't be flexible enough to stick on your nail like this. Can you partially cure it and maybe do it? I'm not enough of a of a gel person to know. All right, we're gonna stick this one on my thumb. It's a little bit of a different pattern, but it'll be on the thumb so. We can call it an accent nail. Please. Whoa, it's got like static electricity. You see it? It's like grabbing. I want to rest you the other direction like this. It was just like not wanting to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, butt spot loves you, Doctor Crotron. Uh, oh, 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so left hand mostly done. We've got trim edges. <laughs> Let's see how this looks once we trim up. Where's my uh, nail implement? Where is my nail implement? This is an excellent question. It should be in here. It's not in here. It is in here. It's just hiding. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> once you have all the decals applied you can go ahead and trim around the edges using a sharp nail implement or a small pair of nail art scissors once that's all removed you can do final cleanup with a small brush and acetone So, like, I, I always think my nail implement is pretty sharp until I go to do something like this, and then I'm like, man, this isn't even that sharp. Could also use, like, an orange stick, or uh, for thicker decals, a lot of times, I'll go ahead and use my uh, cuticle nippers. There, that's a little bit better. More reasonable. And like if you're working with slightly stickier decals, like in uh, Nail Muse's video, I think it looks like she's got a barrier around her nails. But as long as your decals are pretty much dry, um, it shouldn't really stick on your skin. You know, like that. I do recommend making sure you get the yellow stopper or whatever you're using as your adhesive like all the way to the edge of the nail or sometimes like when you're doing this kind of trimming cleanup dang it i dented the decal right there it's fine um you might actually like pull a piece off of your nail bed that you didn't want to pull off because it wasn't like properly stuck on And then, of course, regular cleanup will make the edges super neat and tidy. Because regular cleanup is like a lifesaver for messy people such as myself. And messy techniques. Like, sometimes it doesn't matter how neat you think you are. Certain, certain nail art techniques are just going to be messy. You know, I might actually like the thumb best of all. <laughs> Is that ridiculous? It was the least flower petally pattern, but it looks really good on the nail. It's like abstract arty. I like probably the index nail least. We'll see here. Um, I think I'm going to do my other hand before I move into the cleanup. You know, it almost looks like more flowery than some of these other ones. The index nail just looks kind of boring and blendy. It's cool, though. It's a cool effect. I, I would, it's definitely, I, and I say this all the time and then, like, never go back and do anything with it again, but... I'd like to try more with this technique. Um, for my right hand, since I was being so impatient and like this was drawing so slowly, I'm just going to go ahead and do all the yellow stopper right now. I'm trying to use just as little as possible. It's literally just for the stickiness. But like I said, edge to edge, top to cuticle or tip to cuticle, I guess. 
Is it the tip of your nail or the top of your nail? I guess top of your nail works. Tip makes more sense. Just the tip. Oh, I'm sorry. It is getting late. And I was tired when we started. Not sleepy tired. Just like, I don't know. Mentally tired. Okay, so which of these do we want to use? I think we'll go for maybe this one for the pinky. Or maybe, maybe I like this one, this one, probably this one. Let's do, let's do this one for the pinky. I'm, I'm going to make a wrong decision here and be like, man, I wish I'd pick that one for this other nail, but must, must move onward, must make progress. <clears throat> All right. And some of these are like the angle can be dictated by where the edge of the decal is. Like obviously I can't, I don't want to put it so that the edge of the decal is, um, don't want there to be any gaps on my fingers. So I got to like the, the straight edge, I got to aim for one of the edges of my nail. That stuck on a lot better. All right, ring finger. Probably this far one over here. Can you guys even see this one? New. No. Can I scooch this a little bit more? Can I turn you a little bit more? There we go. Oh, you still can't see. Okay, you're just gonna have to wait. It's the one way over here on the edge. Please, please. Ooh, come on. Oh. It's not too bad. Like, it's interesting. They all, I think partly it's the, it's the how, like the technique of uh, the smooshing created uh, oh, come on here. Come on. Please stick on my nail. Look at this one just didn't want to freaking stick. I mean, as long as you can get it back off the stamper. See, this is why I don't use the stamper sometimes, because I thought stuff like that might start to happen. I'm going to try the next one without the damn stamper. Even as thin as they are. And this is also the reason too, like you don't want the yellow stopper getting over dry. Which other one, you guys? Probably this one will go on the thumb. Maybe this one? Is this one kind of too busy? Or maybe this one? Maybe that'll go on my ring finger. This can go on my middle finger. Like they're all kind of thick and thin in the same spot, so they all tend to peel in the same shape. All right, let's see. What if I just stick you on here like this? Mm, didn't get it quite far over as much as I wanted, but it's okay. I mean, that doesn't work horribly. It's a little awkward. They're both awkward. They're both awkward. <laughs> it's there. It's it. There's blah, blah, blah. 
there's a very particular window sun where it's perfectly tacky on either side of that it's either too wet or it's not sticky Oh, it wrinkled. Oh, look at that wrinkle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. we I've, like, pulled it up. Let's un... Can you unwrinkle? Okay, I guess that's that's why I should be using the stamper. To avoid that. There are, there are pitfalls in both techniques, I guess, is our lesson here. Yeah, I, I mean, really anything will work. I would not recommend top coat because generally top coats are not as sticky as a plain clear polish. Um, This is getting dirty, too. I like yellow stopper because it is somewhat sticky, even when it's fully dry. Um... All right, we need one more for the thumb. Did I decide this one? Or do I maybe want one of these? Or like this one? Or like this one? What do you guys think? You guys, these are most of the ones that's left. There's a couple more off to the side here, but these are most of them. Which one should I put on my thumb? This one ended up looking very different from all the rest of them too, and I'm not sure if I should change it. Best Girl Scout cookie is the lemon sandwich cookie that they don't even have anymore. I also like the peanut butter sandwich cookies. The second on top. This one. Some more. It, dep it depends which... Uh, there's two different types of Girl Scout troops. And some of them, they're Samoas, and some of them call them something else. Okay, come on. Can we get edges here? Edges? Okay. Oh, you're not wanting to go on there nicely, are you? You just fucking don't want to cooperate. This is, I feel like this is not, okay, there, fairly smooth. Is this, is this really going to fit here though? You going to stick? Kind of. Does that really match? It really doesn't. Oh, well. Eh, well. Now, the rest of these, I'll have to decide if I want to add any more to the polished sketchbook. Or if they're just going to just go away. We're, we're really strange in Minnesota because it's like Minneapolis is one and St. Paul is the other. so many we have so many things where people are on one side or the other coconut avocado what else were we talking about earlier peeps choose a side cannot be neutral in this war of the ages the epic food war for all eternity okay oh I want this part to be over so I could just get to regular cleanup. I always feel super awkward doing this part. Or I like it though. It's maybe it's maybe not quite as like, it definitely still gives flower vibes. 
It didn't turn out nearly as pink as I thought. I mean, hello, where did the pink go? Um, I, I really, I would love to play around with this some more at, at a later date, obviously. <laughs> Not tonight. Tonight we just need to wrap up. But like, I don't know, it's kind of like that other cool design, that other cool water marble design. Um, it like adds something new to smooshing. Like, don't just be completely random with, I mean, random smooshes are already, of course, gorgeous. Smooshes are an easy, quick go-to. Um, but this like kind of flower pedally smoosh. I, I feel like I made improvements just while we were testing things. I think other polishes could be more of an improvement. I think it definitely deserves deserves more attention. And like I said, the color combinations are endless. I like I like this swoop of pink in this corner of the thumb. Isn't that weird? That's like no part of the design that I was trying to create, like the petal effect. No, we've still got cleanup and top coat. So we're, we're getting to the end, but no, we're not done yet. Uh-oh, pineapple and Canadian bacon. <laughs> the true. Oh, cilantro, cilantro is so fucking gross. Ooh, did you hear that? That was super good. Cilantro doesn't taste like soaked to me. It's just nasty. Wait, so sausage and pineapple musical? Oh, oh, Dino. You're asking about a... A certain dust of a certain fairy. I don't know. We'll we'll decide after cleanup. <laughs> I don't I mean you you know I'm a hollow fan. It's not that I'm a hollow hater or anything of the sort. I just I don't know if that's what's best for this manicure. Where did these two little glitters on this pinky come from? Either off the mat or off of the stamper. And of course, as usual, using 100% acetone because it's faster. And my brush that I got from Michaels. You can use pretty much whatever kind of brush you want as long as it's got a stiff enough bristle to get in spots where you need to get the detail. And everything always looks better after a little cleanup. Particular with decals, make sure that you pay a little bit of attention to the tip of the nail kind of seal it and make sure there aren't any flaps hanging over the edges but other than that it's pretty pretty standard cleanup it, do, it definitely does help too especially depending on what you're using to adhere your decals um cleaning up around the edges the acetone kind of like melts it to your base coat and uh Helps with the adhesion and all that. Yeah, definitely got to be mindful of the tips. With these super thin decals, really doesn't seem to be too bad. Like with the uh, Drip Drop Blobicure, I mean, those are so thick. Those can get quite awkward at the tip of the nail if you're not careful with your with your trimming and with your cleanup. But yeah, the cleanup on these, of course, too, they're very soft, nice colors. Do this with a black and I bet the cleanup is not gonna be so easy. <laughs> hmm. 
Monda Mega Corner Cookie where the four are merging. <laughs> what kind of cookies did you make, Music Gal? Did you you might have said above and I might have missed it, or I might have read it and I might have forgotten already. I the you know the thumb is my favorite. This thumb. This thumb and the other wonky weird thumb, and neither of these are quite what I was going for. But I like them. That's how nail art always seems to end up. All right. Definitely, like we were talking about earlier, the middle finger in particular is giving me uh, book cover vibes. Marbled book cover vibes. Mm. Gotta head out for the evening. Thank you for hanging out, Subtrop. With Okito chocolate chip. So is is keto just like low sugar? I don't understand what keto is. Caramel extract. I didn't even know there was such a thing as caramel extract. No sugar. And low carb, high fat. Oh my God, carbs. I mean, I feel like that's the kind of diet I could maybe do for a little while. But I couldn't, like I couldn't make that be my lifestyle change. Like carbs, like. Carbs are bae. <laughs> carbs, will you be my valentine? Since I have no other fucking valentine. I'm debating on a valentine's drunk stream, you guys. Come come drown my single sorrow in vodka and hollow night. But I don't know. Because that's like right before next weekend. And next weekend's already good. Or not. Not this coming up weekend, but the weekend after that. It's already going to be busy because it's a 12-hour challenge. So I don't know if I need to do like a crazy late drunk stream on Thursday on top of that. <clears throat> Literally don't get hungry. That, that would be nice. Seven years. Wow, Dino. I just, I mean, carbs are like, I don't know if I could say my favorite things, but things that I really like a lot, like freaking pasta, bread, most cookies. Yeah, I, well, the other thing, too, a lot of diets and that type of stuff, and when they're trying to replace things, and it's like, don't use regular flour, use, like, almond flour, use, like, whatever, or uh, just snack on a handful of nuts. I'm allergic to nuts. <laughs> so, can't can't do that. only nuts I can eat are the nuts that are not actually nuts okay that I didn't <laughs> such as cashews and uh peanuts <laughs> mm. yes I don't I don't know if I'd well I'd probably miss cereal like once a year. I get, I feel like I get out of kick where I need to eat like a box of cereal. Not like in one sitting, but you know, like buy a box and eat it. 
and then buy a second box, and that box just sits there until it's, like, stale and has to be thrown out. Mm. <laughs> pistachios. I can eat pistachios. They're also not real nuts. Um, but, like, walnuts, absolutely not. Pecans, no. Almonds are very iffy. I, I try to steer clear of them. They're not as bad as walnuts and pecans. But they're... They're still iffy. All right, I think we're just about done with the cleanup here. Dino, I'm so, so sad to disappoint you, but I don't think I'm going to add hollow. Please still be my friend. Pistachio cranberry. <laughs> Hungry right before bed. No, we're bad for that. A lot of times we stream in the afternoon and it's like just before dinner too, but now it's like, yeah, getting everybody to fill up right before bed, which is, I don't think is very good for you. A lot of the weight loss that I've had over the past year, I credit to making a very strong effort to not eat right before bed. So if you're going to bed, then stop talking about cookies, you guys. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that I've ever super hard tried to diet. I mean, I've tried like food journaling stuff, but I mean, as far as like diets that are, you know, uh, restrictive... I've never tried like cutting out anything just all together. Just more like limiting quantities and portions. Because I know, I just know myself, it's not sustainable. And I always feel like if I, you know, go on some ridiculous, crazy ass diet and lose a whole bunch of weight doing something that's not sustainable, I'm just going to go off and binge on a whole bunch of bad shit. <laughs> Shazam, you have made a friend in Dino. Dino always wants me to add glitter. We have. It's so. Can I like create just a little bit of shadow here? You can't see it. Let me add just regular top coat on one of these. Like this one here. Marissa's top coat on the one that has fairy dust on it. No. I think to keep the watercolory flowery vibe, unfortunately, hollow is not in that vibe. I'm hoping that the top coat will take care of these little wrinkles and bubbles too. Because even with. Even with using the stamper, well, they're hard to see on camera. Maybe they're not as bad as I thought. I mean, like, I can I can clearly see every little wrinkle. And then I look in the camera and it's like, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <clears throat> hollow is wonderful. Maybe Saturday we'll do something hollow. I'm not making any promises. I never make any promises because I'm bad at fulfilling promises. <laughs> well, no, I'm not bad at fulfilling promises because I don't promise them. So then I'm not breaking a promise. I, I don't know. <laughs> when I want feedback, it's more to like get my mind going than to really be like, oh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Like this came from you guys' this feedback in Discord, which if somebody wants to do like an exclamation Discord for the new people, that would be great. <clears throat> once you've finished cleanup or once we've finished we already did finish okay <clears throat> once everything is cleaned up we're going to finish with a top coat and as usual I'm using sesh feet wonderful wonderful sesh feet y'all Yeah, that takes care of the wrinkles real nicely. 
All the little weird texture problems. Sesh feet just makes go completely away. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Better than I thought, y'all, with top coat. I was I was starting to get a little bit skeptical, but that's fucking great. Shazam, thank you for the follow. Oh, top coat. Top coat. Sesh V, will you be my Valentine? Mm. Mm mm mm. love adding top coat it's just so freaking satisfying i'm i'm kind of surprised by how amazingly it it like points up the design here like what is that little weird thing can, can you guys see what i mean i mean it's a little bit harder on the webcam because you know the webcam is not that great but it just makes every it just makes everything better. Shit, you guys know. Plus, you can watch the tutorial in a couple weeks on YouTube and see it in high definition on the tutorial camera. This one too. A couple of these. I think that the miracle mat was maybe not quite as clean as I thought it was, because a couple of these have little. A couple like little random glitters or little hidden shimmers. I'm like, where did you pick up this glitter? I don't know. Not very Valentine'sy after all. Although, I mean, you know, flowers, Valentine's Day, kind of it's flowers, so it could be for Valentine's ish. But the pink really got a lot more lost than I expected it to. I mean, I suppose I could have maybe used even more pink or changed the order of how I was doing things, but I really like this. It, it, it very much looks watercolor, doesn't it, you guys? I think that's partly due to my color choice. Because they they all kind of flow and blend together. Look at these thumbs. They're so different and weird and cool. Okay, I'm very happy with this. I I don't... As, as far as it looking like my inspiration... Maybe 8 out of 10? 7 out of 10? But as far as a fucking looking cool, 13 of 10. <laughs> the males want to be all, yeah. Can you guys see? There, see it? See that little twinkle on the pinky? It's like one single glitter. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. <laughs> yeah, the hollow taco. <sighs> oh the tea bag didn't work for you the break my I, it might have been i've i've never used a tea bag i always felt like it would be harder to use because i like that the silk wraps are self-adhesive did i ask the nails if they wanted hollow i did not i made a judgment call as the adult in the relationship <laughs> I I really you, you know what else kind of swayed me I've got a little bit of a bubble there um a lot of times the first time I do a new technique I like to leave it um unhollow doesn't seem like a word but yeah unhollow just to kind of fully appreciate the pattern and the technique. 
which I think this is, I mean, this looks a lot different than a normal smooshie. I think. <laughs> my simple little pedo. I hope not. God, I didn't mean to imply my nails were underage. Just that they were slightly immature. <laughs> oh, you guys. Ashley Peters, thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think as far as consistency across the nails i mean the this index finger is is obviously standing out this other one kind of is too they're kind of for opposite reasons like this one looks more blurry and blended and this one kind of looks more stripy than the other nails um the thumbs are also kind of standouts i i really do think this one might be my favorite it's got a very a very floral feel to it and a very intense like if I can get it like a very intense purple compared to some of the other ones where the purple got a little bit more smooshed to subtlety. And of course this one has like the most pink of any nail. So it's kind of special just because of that. Yeah, the nails are cousins. And I didn't quite have it enough together to like when we did the uh, drip drop blobicure Christmas tree decals to take the ones that were a little bit wonky and turn them into accent nails. But I, I think this is really pretty. I definitely have come more to appreciate uh, when my nails are not all the same. You know, having a little bit of variety to them. <sighs> and it's before midnight, you guys. So those of you who have to adult in the morning, <laughs> thank you very much for hanging out with me. Let me see if I can find... Uh, somebody to send you lovely people to. What is going on at this late hour in the Twitchiverse? Um, 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 um. What do we got going on here? Do I have any? <sighs> I need more creative people. A lot of times when I'm doing like a late creative stream, I'm not the creative people that I follow are not on. Like a lot of the creative people that I follow stream daytime hours. But. Um, Ash, hello. Yeah, I, I wish the Bob was all week. Bob is only on on the weekends. You work second shift though, so yeah. I I tend to have kind of almost third shift hours. I'm usually up. Like if I go to bed at two o'clock, I consider that early. You're welcome, Dr. Crotron. Amethyst, thank you. Am Amethyst is the one who pointed this design out to me in a in a Facebook compilation. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, originally they had the whole like the whole thing and then it was I don't know. And then for a month, there was like a special month. And then like lately it's on the weekends, but the weekends include Friday and Mondays. I don't know. Um, what are you guys thoughts on Mega Man? I'm down for some Mega Man. Or I could see if there's like a random creative people to go to go look at. I don't know. Hosting random people is always a little bit weird, though. I am the only person in beauty and body art also. There's that. <laughs> there's lots in regular art, but I don't know these people. I don't I don't know these people. I I think I'm just going to I'm going to host my friend. Which friend? Do 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 We got Squid, Stuff, and Daggett. Mega Man 1 Glitchless. <laughs> Not to a food channel, no. Although I could sit here and eat another cookie on stream. <laughs> they're, they're calling my name once I'm sure my nails are fully dry. I mean, they're mostly dry now because, you know, sesh beat. I mean, they're dry to the touch. Dry for digging around in cookie tins. I don't know. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna send you guys to Daggett. He is the porchiest of the members racing. And he has the fewest people, so we can make his night if anybody would like to hang out. Chopsticks or a fork. We'll just take okay, we'll take our we'll take a couple. Where where are my uh, chopstick skills? Uh -huh. uh. Mm. 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 There we go. I was gonna say I used to know how to do this. All right, so I just okay. Votes for me eating a cookie with nail polish brush chopsticks. <laughs> well, let's see. Now I'm curious. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, how about you learn now? Huh? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> mm. Got skills, y'all. <laughs> Let me get this raid started. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For some reason, though, it's kind of more satisfying to eat a cookie out of your hand than out of chopsticks. Like, what is that? Um, I also don't really have a raid message other than good luck if you'd like to join me. Um, <laughs> yeah, or dang it, dang it, that works. <laughs> Or whatever you would like, spam some emotes. I don't know. I'm I I don't. Or hey, no, we have a message. Simple little raid. It's a simple little raid, y'all. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Maybe a Hollow Knight stream tomorrow night. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Saturday. Um. <laughs> As always. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for the resubs. Thank you for distracting me from my cold and for experimenting with me and getting this awesome manicure. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Hope you sleep well. And I hope I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I'm still sick to a music out. Believe me. The Weekly Seed, I do. I need to do that either on or off stream or whatever. I know a lot of you guys have already done it, so... Yeah, the weekly seed. <laughs> Here? Because yeah, he'll like... Do it right when he stops. Yeah. I, I don't have much advice there. All the advice. Um, that I, I think, <laughs> I mean, a massive source of savings for me. Mm -hmm.